Have you ever heard of water-cooled brakes? Well, this was a trick in the 60s and 70s before they had large brake kits to keep your brakes from overheating. So if you look real close here, you can see this uh, piece of copper tubing that's been carefully swaged down with a small hole, probably about 10 thousandths or so in diameter. And that copper tube is aimed right at the inside of the brake rotor, basically up in between the veins, the cooling veins on a brake rotor. And then if you look closer, you see a uh, piece of rubber tubing going along the sway bar to a windshield washer pump reservoir. And this is all wired to a brake light switch. So the windshield washer pump is activated when the brake light comes on and then it squirts water up in between the cooling veins on the brake rotor. Makes a gigantic difference, as you could imagine. So it makes the small brakes hold up and not get overheated, just like a big brake. So this is the uh, brake rotor here and that nozzle is aimed right up in between there. You can see this is pretty rusty. I've been on there about 37 years. I'm upgrading to the 14 inch bare brakes. These are about 12 inches, I think. One of the reasons Corvettes were so successful in racing is they had a pretty good brake setup from the factory. Um, relatively big calipers with four pistons. This one is the, the quick change style, which was the more desirable. You just pull the pins and pop the pad out the top so they could change brake pads in the middle of a race doing a pit stop. Anyway, that's what water-cooled brakes look like.